Welcome, welcome to Hangman Tarot. We're going to get into our celebrity tarot card reading in just a minute. Go ahead, hit share, like, and follow if you would. Make sure that if you really enjoy these videos, you're sharing the love to your family and friends. And of course, we're going to get straight into things because I don't like to fuck it around. We are going to find out all about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce, which I do want to put out there right on the front lines that I'm not a huge fan of doing these readings only because of I don't want to get ate up alive by the Tay Tay clan and I just you know I just I'm not I'm not asking for that type of attention so please if you are obsessed with Taylor Swift and you consider yourself some sort of a Tay Tay um follower please jump off <laughs> because I'm reading these cards. I'm going to read these cards and they're going to come out as they come out. And if you don't like it, you're going to have to go F off somewhere else because I really don't honestly have time to uh, address the comments about how shitty of a reading I did. Okay. If you don't like my readings, you don't have to listen. Darling. Okay. So again, I kind of just didn't want to do this reading only because it's not that original. Okay. It's just like the pop princess, you know, with the big football, you know, tight end, like how exciting. Oh my God. Like it's so unoriginal. Okay. We all have been to high school. We've already seen this played out a million fucking times and we all literally wanted to jump off the cliff in that moment. So let's, not perpetuate that any further but you know whatever I will I will I will do as asked you definitely wanted me to get back on here and do this reading so here the fuck I am here the fuck I am and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what I can with this Tay Tay reading Tay Tay and and Kels I hope that's how you say his name hopefully not and then it will annoy people even more okay let's hear let's get into this let's get into all right, I am going to go into who they are birth chart wise. Um, we really don't need to explain who Taylor Swift is. If you need to um, figure that out, go ahead and Google it. You can Google the boyfriend also. Um, Taylor Swift is from Pennsylvania, United States. She was born December 13th, 1989 at 517 AM. She's an American singer songwriter raised in Wyoming Sing, Pennsylvania. I didn't know that. That's weird. I don't even know what that is. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania and I'm from Wyoming. <laughs> I live in Wyoming, but I'm from Pennsylvania. So that's funny. Okay. Anyway, so Taylor Swift moved to Nashville when she was 14 and she pursued her country, you know, career. And we all know where that landed her. Her hard work and dedication has taken her to a very, very far place. Um, material and security wise, she's got that definitely going for her. Um, she's sun sign, Sagittarius, moon sign is a cancer. Yeah, you can't take away that. She definitely works her ass off. That's for certain. Um, Travis Kels. He was born Thursday, October 5th, 1989 in Ohio, Westlake, United States. He's a Libra, Sagittarius. His birth path is a six. He's six, five. But you would have to be really tall, I think, to be with her because I believe that she's tall. I think she looks tall anyway. Um, he's born October 5th, 1989. He's an American football tight end of the Kansas City Chiefs for the National Football League. And he was drafted by the Chiefs in the third round in 2013. Um, he did play football college in Cincinnati. So again, we all know who these people are. Kind of the last ramblings of the two of them was at the championship game where, you know, the Chiefs were you know, facing off with the Baltimore Ravens. So that was Sunday, January 28th. So that was kind of the last time we kind of really seen her around him specifically in that glass box. I feel like such a circus freak in that thing. I mean, everybody's staring at her. She's just standing there in that black or black glass, <laughs> the glass box. And uh, yeah, I would feel like a, you know, fish in a bowl. Everybody's staring, not, no privacy whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, he's so cool. She's so cool. Okay, sorry. I'm being a hater. <laughs> that is my vibe this this uh, this afternoon. I don't know why. All right, so we are finding out a little about about them. I think it's cool that she's sun sign Sagittarius and his moon sign is a Sagittarius. Little bit of water. Little bit of water. A little bit of water, a little bit of fire. These cards are just all over the place. I'm telling you what. Okay. Okay. So, 
on his end, I feel like before things were, you know, thick and heavy with the two of them, he was kind of in a place of almost like limbo or just in a place where he was like not able to kind of surrender to whatever it was that he was doing. And as far as love, he definitely was upside down on things. He wasn't that's not something that he was doing. Um, Love-wise, everything was kind of backwards or reverse. And I feel like any kind of like awakening or enlightenment or trying to just, you know, get a heads up on anything as far as his life goes is kind of in a place of limbo. Like he just, you know, was stuck somewhere. And he was stuck in this way because he, you know, just was stuck there. It wasn't because of anything specific. I think he needed to learn a few more things before moving on with his life because, I mean, presently... He does, it is indicating here presently, like even in this relationship, he has a lot of temptation, okay? There's a lot of people saying, you know, like, dude, come out, dude, let's go here, let's go there, let's get into trouble. And it's like all this temptation around him. And he's really just like bothered by that. That really bothers him because that's really hard for him to get past that temptation. So it is something that he tries to cover his head to. He tries to pretend it's not there. He tries to ignore the obvious, which is, you know, big titties, big lips, and he wants to be around them. Um, but he knows that there is something else that he is with. He is seeing somebody and he's very much attracted to this empowered woman. This is a woman who has, you know, a lot of emotion, a lot of connection to him. And this is, again, this is very hard for him to not do. He wants to go be around, you know, these big titty ladies. That's his, you know, he was, he would be okay with this. I mean, I don't know what guy wouldn't, but he's definitely wanting to go jam out and, you know, have a good time and just sit in this temptation and be okay with it. But he can't, that's just not, that's not where he is in his life. And I feel like he's still more on the side of temptation though, let's just be real, than on the side of the empowered, strong, you know, um, badass of a woman, um, this feminine queen. This woman has a lot of energy, a lot of, this is karmic. This is popping up karmic, especially with this card popping up here. I really feel like Anytime with the justice card and this this situation, I feel like this is just bringing all sorts of um, bringing a balance or a fairness back into the universe. I feel like there is definitely some sort of a karmic connection between the two of them, especially now that this is coming back up. I feel like karmic connection from the past for sure. And I feel like they recognize each other on a very deep soul level. And so that's kind of like majority of it is that's why they kind of were together and I feel like in the past life maybe it wasn't so grand because I know that she passed him up a first time I don't think she got with him initially I think her intuition said no at first um so anyway in the future here heading you know coming up especially with this temptation and stuff I feel like that he's he's not going to try and do this because his thoughts really run away with him. You know, his thoughts really carry him away and steal him away from, you know, this emotional connection he's involved in. So his thoughts, his mental status, his, his, his need for, um, that temptation. It's almost like, it's almost like he's trying to deceive himself or her. I don't know which, but it's almost like somebody comes in and steals him out or he steals himself away from the situation. But he definitely, um, kind of, it's, I do. I feel like it's a theft. He just kind of like steals him, himself away from this very normal, amazing connection. Um, but again, I told you he's kind of more on the temptation side than the side with, you know, the love connection. So the love connection is definitely something that is emotional. There's a lot invested here. But I feel like what's really invested is this karmic you know, past stuff that they had with each other. I feel like that's definitely here. Okay, let's get on her side of things. Because on her side of things, she's she's coming in with this, this soul connection. She's coming in, you know, he's recognizing her on a soul level for some reason. And that's just like where it's at. And I think that um, initially, it was kind of like, I don't want to be judged for, th for this. I don't want to be judged. I don't want people to watch me. I don't want people to see what I'm doing. So I have, you know, there's this little bit of a fear of being judged. And just people kind of watching, especially with this judgment card and this justice card. And it's like, even though there's this, this connection and she was very aware of it, it's still this fear of being judged. And that is something that could, you know, eventually 
bother their relationship. I think the only thing that's really going to affect the two of them is the fact that they're both big celebrities in the spotlight and one of them is going to have to take a seat. Okay. It's just, that's the balance of it to me anyway. Um, I think up ahead though, there's definitely going to be some sort of celebration. And I feel like that celebration has a lot to do with love and connection and this relationship. And for sure, because as far as like feeling or having this, this moment of finding happiness, I really feel like it comes into balance and it brings a lot of stability in thinking it even could happen. But up ahead, yeah, like I feel like there's definitely gonna be a celebration about something. This celebration could simply be a birthday. It could simply be just a celebration. Um, we're excited. We're, you know, pushing our relationship a little bit further. We're really gonna lock things down and find some more balance. Maybe they're moving in with each other. Maybe they could be, you know, just like maybe he wants to pop the question. Who knows? I think that is where it's headed. Bottom line. Bottom line, girl. Hmm. Okay. So I know that this new beginning, he has a lot of, you know, charming characteristics about him. And I feel like, um, with this cool, charming bullshit, it's almost like too good to be true and it always kind of is. So I feel like anything that's going to affect this new beginning is the movement, okay? The movement of it will start affecting this relationship, especially because of the job and the career stuff. <laughs> Do y'all remember when I just said big titties? I literally said big titties. Okay, so this is just, <laughs> I have these weird ass cards. Um, I feel like this is going to come into a place where there's going to be lots of choices and lots of decisions here. I feel like this could be a safe, secure, reliable relationship, yet I feel like the motion in the ocean here or of this relationship is going to slow down, this new beginning, this very passionate, fiery, um, beautiful, we make you each other laugh all the time type of relationship. That's going to slow down because the movement is not going to be fierce enough. It's not going to be moving enough. Okay. And, you know, once the potential of that is kind of, um, it's almost diluted because of the lack of movement. Okay. It's definitely feeling to me like any kind of reliability or any kind of like um, security will definitely fade away, especially if this temptation comes back again and there's more options. So the more options this guy has, the more temptation this guy has, the less that this is going to keep moving forward. This is going to have to move at a certain rate for it to work. And I don't know who makes those rules. I don't know where that comes in at, but that's just definitely what I'm feeling. And I think any natural bond here will strengthen through time as long long as he can get through that temptation and get past this new beginning part because the new beginning always feels great but then all of a sudden you don't feel it and you're like well maybe that looks better you know maybe those big tetas look better and it's like can they embrace change no matter how difficult the level gets can they I don't know um let's get the last couple cards here likely outcome let's find out let's get let's get the tea Let's get the tea. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So he's going to be a dildo about it. He is. I mean, he's, this is, he's going to be okay with just kind of like bowing out by moving with his choices to be kind of bound and trapped. Okay. I feel like any kind of like aggression here or like putting, you know, some sort of like energy or mental thought into this relationship is going to kind of fade out. I think the likely outcome here is somebody is going to get very defensive. Some sort of message is going to be conveyed. Some sort of truth is going to come out and some sort of spacey, um, it's almost like the person on the other end of it is going to be so spacey about it. They're going to be very surprised that it happened. But this person is tied to a lot of demons. This person could even, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, this is so creepy. I just feel like one, one, I think he is more on the, the list of just like stopping the communication. And it's almost like he's not going to be thoughtful about it. He's not going to be logical about it. He's just going to allow himself to move towards that shit that he is tied to that shit he can untie himself to but doesn't have the strength to do it and it's just it's not her and it's not 
him per se. It's just the way that this is moving or where it will move. Because again, I feel like this has probably already happened for them in other lives for fucking sure. And that's why intuitively to begin with, she said no. She said no, Joe. He apparently bought her a bracelet, gave her the bracelet, sent her or had the bracelet sent and it had his phone number on it. And she said no. Like the balls on that girl. That's like telling someone no when they ask you to marry them in front of the whole entire baseball stadium. You know, like nobody usually does that, but Taylor does. Tay Tay does. Okay. So again, I don't think that this is going to be a huge celebration at the end. And I don't think that I felt that on the other reading either. His demons or the things that he really ties himself to really have him in a place where he can't really breathe without it. Okay, those could be video games that could be going out to the bar that could be big old titties that could literally be reading books and ignoring her in the midst of it. And he's just so tied to those books that she just can't get through to him. You know, it's just whatever you want or need it to be. And it's however things fall for them. I hope that they have a beautiful future. I don't know how. I know that everybody thinks that they're going to kind of stay together, but I just I don't feel like that's happening. I don't. Um, they, you know, they have a great time. They laugh a lot together. Um, they embrace each other because, you know, they very much know each other again on that other level. And they're, they may not even know why. Um, but that's why. That's why. Yeah. Cool charm will only get you so far, okay? It'll get you all the way up until you get busted, okay? Or you age and then nobody can see the cool charm anymore. All right, I gotta get out of here. Please go ahead, hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot. Go ahead and share, like, and follow. If you would, leave a comment, say hello. If you want to um, get any celebrity readings done, leave a list, I will go through it. I can't promise when or how I'll do it. I'm a mother, I work. These things, you know, take time. So uh, please enjoy the rest of this beautiful month and I will see you soon. Bye.